The assault on the Sikh Golden Temple at Amritsar 30 years ago is one of the bloodiest and most controversial episodes in recent Indian history. Hundreds of people died and the confirmation that a British officer advised on the attack has reopened that controversy. The advisor's assessment made clear that a military operation should only be put into effect as a last resort when all attempts at negotiation had failed. It recommended including in any operation an element of surprise and the use of helicopter-borne forces in the interests of reducing casualties and bringing about a swift resolution. In Southall, west of London, home to one of the UK's largest Sikh communities, there's concern that the country they live in may have been involved in a massacre in the land of their ancestors. Community leader Harjinder Singh says Britain's Sikhs are reeling from William Hague's admission. From the first moment that that story broke, people came on the phone to me and to other people in our organisation and, and, you know, with a sense of betrayal. Yeah, we have come to this country to enjoy freedom that we didn't have in India and now it, it turns out that that government, that same government, was colluding with, with, with the Indian government in, this, in the attack on, on, on Harmander Saab, as we call it. Documents now released include a letter sent to Number 10 Downing Street at the time by a Foreign Office official saying there should be no leak about the visit. If there were, it would be extremely embarrassing for both sides. He adds, if and when the Indians put the plan into operation, and if it went wrong, they should not be able to pin any blame on us. Three decades on, it's clear that what happened in the Golden Temple at Amritsar is still raw amongst the Sikh community. And here in Southall, there's an unease that the British government now is trying to cover up something that the British government then was part of. But let me be clear. I want the dialogue between this government and the Sikh community to continue. David Cameron has sent this video message to Britain's Sikhs to try and allay those fears. And I hope the manner in which we've investigated these dreadful events will provide some reassurance to the Sikh community here in Britain and elsewhere. It might take more than that to convince the Sikhs of Southall. David Bowden, Sky News.